Alright guys, so we went to the GIA Expo. We about to go out. But before we go out, I gotta tell you one thing. And before I tell you that one thing, there's a second thing I need to tell you. If I ever told you the second thing, Seth the Lawn Surgeon got this bourbon here. And it's kind of my new toy. So we got bourbon and Jaeger. Cheers to everybody at the GIA Expo. Tips it talk. <laughs> What's going on guys? As you can see, me and my boy Triple D had a blast at the GIE. And that rhymed. And I didn't mean to. But you already know what time it is. And who I'm grilling. Ugh, it's raining out here. Not only am I grilling, I'm smoking. I've been I'm I'm, I'm doing something I don't normally do. Most of the time I do not smoke or grill bone-in chicken but today <clears throat> I'm doing both and the reason I don't do that is a lot of y'all see me I, I usually do boneless stuff boneless stuff is way easier to grill way easier to smoke because you don't worry got to worry about cook making sure that meat around the bone is cooked it gets because that bone is cold or whatever you got to make sure that meat around there gets cooked. So let me show y'all what I'm working with. All right, huh? so this is my grill side. As y'all can see what I did, I got the flame only going on this left side. I've been grilling it for a bit. So I think I'm about to, uh, let me see if I can get the, uh, there we go. Get that flame going. In the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and move these over and start grilling them. Right now I've pretty much been like making sure I wanted to make sure the meat was cooked in the middle. You know what I mean? So now I'm gonna move it over here on the heat. So now we we'll get that grill. Over here. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. We got that smoke thighs over here. I season them both the same way. These have been smoking. It's about 11 o'clock right now. These have been smoking since about 8 o'clock. I cooked it very low. For like the first two hours, I cooked it at under 150 degrees. And now I've raised the temperature up to like about 200. So I'm cooking it low and slow to make sure everything's cooked. Make sure we still got some good heat over here. Oh yeah, I'm about to add some charcoal in a bit. First I'm gonna chit chat with y'all. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go over here in my carport type thing. This is my little shed over here. <laughs> ah, I need a chair. Oh, I'll stand up. Anywho, what's been going on with you guys? As you can see, I got that Triple D cup on deck. Shout out to Triple D. Tips to talk. <laughs> um, I'm sipping on. It's morning time. Don't judge me. I'm, I kind of got used to drinking in the morning. I'm off today, but uh, a lot of times I get off work in the morning and sip. So since I'm getting off this morning and I'm not doing anything today, I was planning to put up some Christmas lights. I'm gonna sit around the house all day and then chill out. I gotta go to work this evening or this night, tonight, so hey here anywho um what's been going on with me <clears throat> as you can see i'm standing where my 
uh, Mustang usually is. This, this carport type thing has been working out. Lean to, as you want to call it. Uh, it's been working out for me. <sighs> um, it's been raining all weekend. I've been taking it slow. I really need to step it up. I need y'all to motivate me, bro. Because last year I told y'all I was going full time. And I really didn't get out here and uh, get at it like I needed to. So I need y'all to get behind me. Because I'm like, I have to this year. My thing was, I really wasn't prepared. I Like... I can go out and I can stop and I can go full time, but it's just that my job is so easy, bro. <laughs> it's so easy. It's not even the retirement. A lot of people say, oh, you're leaving your retirement, your pension or whatever, your benefits. It's not even the retirement or the benefits, bro. It's just the ease of the job. Like, I don't do anything. Bro. It's like, you know, I don't do anything. And so I, I almost get paid to do not that much. To me, I guess to other people it might be a lot, but for me, it's not that much. So I kind of just sit around all winter time, take a break. I work so hard this summer, like literally nine days a week. Two every weekend, you know, I didn't have no help. But, you know, I got it done. So I definitely got to get some help this winter time. I want to get that uh, relief box going. I think that will help motivate me to kind of get rolling. If I can get rolling before the season even starts, that's kind of the thing. It's like once the season starts, I'm rolling. I'm out here and like I'm clawing to get back into it by the time the spring comes. But if I can get out here and do some stuff in the winter time, that will kind of motivate me to like, you know, do more I know I'm rambling bro but this is kind of my diary bro y'all are kind of like my, my boys I kind of hang out take a little sip <clears throat> and I chit chat so that's kind of my mindset right now but like I said I need y'all to motivate me leave comments Seth what are you doing to get right to go full time Seth what are you doing to get right and that'll kind of motivate me. Cause it's so easy for me just to go to work and not do nothing all winter. But I'm thinking about, what I'm thinking about doing is getting um, <clears throat> like, uh, I'm gonna start putting out ads. Like I haven't put out ads since 2014, like or handed out flyers or anything. So what I'm thinking about doing is possibly promoting that I'll get a 10% discount to anybody that signs up for the season. You know what I mean? So then that way somebody will sign up for the whole season and I know I already got like 30 customers and then if I get 20 more to sign up then I'm like okay these 20 more plus the 30 I already got we have business. You know what I mean? And I can go from there and I can feel comfortable starting off with like 50 customers full time you know and grind it out you know what I mean so that's what's pretty much been going on with me what's been going on with y'all let me know in the comments I'm trying to think of um, but yeah I don't really got nothing to talk about we could check out my chicken right quick <clears throat> it's drizzling I don't want to get my new camera wet but I do this for y'all. Let me check out this grilled chicken. I know it's gonna cook fast. You, you, ooh, ooh, my goodness, that smells good. Grilled chicken thighs on deck. Oh, oh, oh. That looks good. Let me peel that skin down. There we go. Mm -hmm. I think I need to add some more charcoal. Oh yeah. Mm. 
pay no attention to the junkiness. There's the uh, 34 there. Behind all this junk. The Jungle Jump Jack box. Uh, T T uh, T bar. The Gravely back there in the shadows. Ugh. The uh, Mustang is on the trail over there with a pile of leaves. Ooh, gosh. Ugh. I usually have a glove, so don't judge me. But I think we get some charcoal on it with the camera in my hand. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I'm out of chips. Yeah, I think. Ooh, throw some dry chips on there. Uh, dry apple chips. Usually I soak them. Sometimes I throw the dry ones on there. Put a few pieces more chocolate on there. And make sure it gets pretty hot. So I can finish cooking out. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Woo. That chip over there. See that bad boy over 200. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Oh. Anywho, I'm about to go back inside. Chill out while that grills. Um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna try to be active this winter time. Uh, usually at one time I slow down, but I'm gonna keep posting videos so y'all keep staying tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that bell so y'all can get all the notifications. And make sure y'all stay tuned because they just, they done messed up, bro. They done gave me the ability to post comments and, um, <laughs> in the community post so I can post pictures I can share stuff and I'm about to get in the house because it's raining thanks for watching comment subscribe stay tuned yes sir